coach said you were limited a little bit last week. Have you been able to do pretty much everything this week? Yeah, um, just had a little uh, problem with my hamstring last week and had to sit out to try and get to play um, last Saturday you know, or last Friday um, and couldn't go. And we decided it was best just to not try and go too much so that I'd be ready to go this week. And it's worked out. Um, haven't had to sit out anything, done all the drills, gone through all the practice and feel good. Um, and I'll definitely be ready to go by Saturday. How about special teams? Um, just we're right now, just going to do punt. Um, just to go back there and just make the calls and then do cover down, and that's about it. Um, not going to do punt return or, or kickoff return, but we got guys that have stepped in and are doing a great job. Um, we got plenty of guys that can do that, and so they just decided not to wear me out too much and take me off those. Was the onside kick against Auburn something you watched on the side of thinking I would have had that, or did it surprise you? Um, you know, I think it caught everybody off guard. Um, I guess they just saw something that – I guess we weren't paying attention. They did it kind of fast. Um, I don't think anybody was ready for it. So they did a great job of executing that. Um, I wish I could have been in there so I could have maybe gotten a piece of somebody. You're on the front line, right? Yeah, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right where they kicked it. Are you wearing out anything on your hamstring during practice? Um, yeah, I just got a little, well, I guess an artificial hamstring. It's just kind of helps my not have to be work so much. Um, it's nothing too elaborate or anything. It's just so it doesn't get too tired. You wore it during the game? I wore it last week during the game and okay. probably, yeah, it feels good. I mean, it's wear it all week during practice and move well with it. Um, so it's, uh, I mean, it's not something that you would prefer wearing or anything like that. But, you know, since I have to, it's not too bad. Is the artificial turf a little bit of a concern, though, the um, You know, not since we've been practicing on it all week. Uh, maybe if we've been outside the entire time, and, and but since we go, if we've been inside all week, and I've gotten used to it, it really hasn't brought up any concerns. Um, so it's just, it's just I've, I got a lot of practice on it, and it's right now it's not, not anything in my head that's going to be bothering me. So, okay. Corey, you guys got a close call in Auburn, but you did win the game. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's good or bad going into this one? Um, you know, you just Auburn's a different game. It's always. You know, maybe besides last year, it's always been, you know, um, pretty close battle. It's You can't look at it like any other game during the season. It's going to be played completely different no matter what the team's records are. Um, it's just Auburn, Alabama. And, you know, we were just – we played well enough to get the win. It wasn't our, our prettiest day by far. They had two weeks to prepare for us, which showed, and we had a short week. Not that that's an excuse or anything. We should have been ready to play. But um, they executed a lot of things better than we did. Um, we just luckily had a, a great drive at the end of the game, and our defense stepped up after the first two drives when they put 14 on us real quick. How big special teams this week? Uh, it's going to be huge because you know they're, you know they're one of the top uh, special teams teams in the nation. Um, they do everything well. They've only had one game where they've had punt return yards, um, so it's going to be big for us to try to get some blocks for Javi so that he can make some moves and, and get a good f- uh, field position for our offense. And uh, we're going to have to cover well on kickoff because they got two dangerous returners. And uh, we're going to have to return well so we're not pinned back. You know, last year we got pinned back on inside the five a few times. Um, we got to make some smarter decisions uh, where we feel the ball. You know, Javi just, I don't think he knew where he was. He had one foot out of bounds and really pinned us deep. Uh, we really can't make those mistakes this year because it really hurt us. Y'all gave up 31 points to Florida, 31 points to Utah last year. And <coughs> came out of the season with a reputation that you couldn't handle the spread offenses. Mm-hmm. Is that a fair um, Yeah, I mean, I guess it is because they definitely exposed us at the end of the year. Um, we we really did hold Florida in check uh, for three quarters. Coach Sam talks about it all the time, and then we just didn't we didn't make the the right adjustments, we made too many mistakes, and they really exposed us. But Florida's offense and Utah's offense are completely different. Um, Utah was fast-paced, throwing the ball, and Florida's completely opposite. You know, they yeah, they spread the ball out. I mean, they spread their formations out, but they run the ball. That's their game. Um, they got it. You know, they have three back sets, and then they got Tebow back there. So there's really four running backs back there that can run the ball, and they're gonna try to try to use all of them. Um, a lot of misdirection try to catch us off guard, try to catch people out of place, and they do that really well, as you've seen all, um, all season. So we're just going to have to be on top of our game and make sure we defend it well. Do you enjoy playing against Bruce? Uh Last year I didn't because I wasn't on the field very much. Um, this year it's a little different story. Um, no, I mean, nobody does. I can't say that you would. Um, I'd rather somebody line up and try to pound it down our throats, um, really challenge us. But, of course, you know, that's not the case. You know, everybody's kind of going to this look. 
And uh, Florida runs the, runs their offense really well, and it's a really difficult offense to defend. Um, but we've had a good week of preparation, and uh, we we got lucky to see the same style offense against Mississippi State earlier on in the year. Um, you know, it's definitely helped us out. Um, it's nothing new. So it was just going out there and, and polishing up what we messed up against Mississippi State. I don't know uh, how much film you've seen of Florida's defense, but but what do you, as a defensive guy, what do you see them do that makes them so successful? Their defense? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I really couldn't tell you. I haven't got to see much of their defense at all. Um, I just know they have a lot of athletes, and their secondary is very skilled. Um, they can they can cover man to man on the outside and bring everybody else and not have to worry about getting beat deep. Um, those guys are athletic, and uh, you don't see very many receivers that are getting on top of them. And if they do get on top of their corners, their safeties are always there. They got five guys back there. They're probably going to end up in the NFL one day um, with all that athleticism. And uh, you know we're going to have to challenge them to stop the run because that's you know that's our mo too. We run the ball, um, and that, that's going to be the thing. Uh, let them bring the house, and we're going to try to run it on them. Corey, last year Florida came out in a no huddle on their first drive. Did that kind of put you guys on on, on your heels a little bit? Um, you know we were kind of expecting that. They do have a, a fast tempo, and Utah did the same thing. Um, I think that. We're a lot more prepared this year than we would have, than we were last year, because um, you know, after people saw what happened to us in the last two games, we saw a lot of that this year, a lot of fast tempo. So we've had a lot of good work at it um, for the, for this game um, throughout the season. Corey, you talked about keeping them in check for three quarters last year. Talk about the domination that you guys have been able to accomplish in, in the fourth quarter, outscoring your opponents. Mm-hmm the conditioning, the mentality of the fourth quarter, and how you think that'll help you this year? Yeah, I think that um, with the program that Coach Saban has, with he emphasizes finishing in the fourth quarter. Um, and last year, I think we got outscored in the fourth quarter by a large margin. Uh, we didn't win a lot of games in the fourth quarter, and this year it's been a different story. Um, we've really understood that it, it's going to take 60 minutes of football, and people, more people are buying into that. Um, you know, you, It's definitely shown this year the work we've put in during the off season that uh, we're buying into that mentality. Last question. Corey, is this a revenge game for you guys? Have you been looking at it? Um, you know, you're, you're disappointed with the loss last year, of course, and they're the best team in the SEC. Um, you know, no one's knocked them off in the last couple of years, and they've won two national championships. So um, we're just excited to get a chance to go at them again. We were disappointed with what happened last year. And um, this is just another big game for us. We, this is what we work for. Uh, this is what we always said in the offseason. You know, everything we do is to be just as good or better than Florida because they're, you know, they're, they're setting the bar right now. And uh, we're excited to get another chance at them because we were disappointed with last year's game.